Hello everyone. We are going to be treating this Edo cap today. Usually worn in the eastern part of Nigeria by the king. The queen can use it as well, but mostly it is worn by the king. But nowadays in the school, our children, the children normally use it for traditional party, any traditional program they are doing in their school. So let's go to let's go to the tutorial fully. You take any fish line that you can easily control, any length that is comfortable for you that you can control. It should not be too long, maybe two or one and a half inches. Just take a reasonable length that you can easily control. So let's start. Firstly, we are going to use, we are going to take four bead to do our star. One, two, three. So the fourth one, you use it to turn. We use it to turn, it will give us that. So the first one is four, then the other one will be three. The other one will be three. One here, one here. Then you use this one to turn. You use this to turn, then you pull it down. So you take another three, one here, one there, then you now use one to interlock it. Three, one here, one here. The other third one to interlock the two together. We take another three. One, two. We use this one to interlock. So we continue to when we get to a reasonable length that can go around our head that can go around the problem here. So, this is it. So, the normal length should be 20, 22, 24. Depends on the, on, on the measurement that you took. So, I want to show you how you can turn when you have gotten to the length. I want to show you how you can turn and... The way we can turn this, we have three or four ways that we can turn. But let me show you the easiest one. So also I will drop other links where you can see how to turn. How to turn this. Because to, to make this, it's so lengthy. The video is so lengthy. So I will just briefly show you how to turn now i have put three then i will just two in one side and one in one side i will just tie i will tie gently once you tie it you want to turn it once you tie tie it one more time two is in one side the other one is having one so automatically you have turned 
So what you need to do is just take one, like now the fish line has come to one side. Automatically you have turned like that. So you just put one to the first one here. I tell you, you have three or four ways that you can turn. So just take one mouth to this place. You have turned to the other side. Can you see? So you now put two here. The one that is up, you put two. You put two. You put two. Then, you see? Then you now put another, you now take another one to turn, to interlock the two together. You take another one, making three. That is the beginning, for the beginning. But as you continue, you'll be using two. You see, I've turned. So this one, I will leave this one. This one, I will take it through the next bead, which is this one. Which is this. Then I will let this one go like this. Then I will take this one that is to the right. I will put another two bead. I need two now. Put one. This one will go down. Then the remaining one, you use it to interlock. Then you now continue. So when you get to the hand, you want to turn, tie to one side. Then the fish, the two fish line will come to one side. Now, for us to go down, I will be using two bead. So the next one. This one will be like this, then this, I will have to put two. One, two. So I will take the other fish line to interlock. So you now pull, and pull it down. So I want to cover the the corner. I want to cover this place. So this is the way I will go about it. I'll go about doing it. One bit will be here. Another one. Then you now use one to cross.
So I'm cutting from this place. I will pick two. One, two. And I will use the second one to turn. The second bit to turn. As we go down. So I'll take this one. This one is going down. This one is going down. When it's going up, I will take it, put it in the next available bit here. And pick it out. And I will take two bits again. Put two. One. Two. I will use the second one to turn like this, fix it inside like this, then pull it down. Then this one that is coming up, we go to the next available bead here, the next one. If you have any question, drop it at the comment box. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This one is going up. One that is coming down. You pick the one that is coming down. You put two. Then the second one, you, this one that is up, you interlock it like this. That is what we are going to do continuously for us to cover this. This crown, I want to cover it. This is an hippo bead. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Shining for like it. Click the notification bell to get more information about my next update. So I'm about to close this place. So the way it is, this one that is up like this, you take it, take the ribbon out, you pass through the next available bead here. You bring it out. I want to join this one to this, to the background. So I'll pass it around. So we take this one now, this one, this one. I'm making the two together. So, it goes in. Then we now use one to, we use one to interlock the two together. Take only one bead to interlock. So, this is it. So I'm taking another line now. For me to take another line, you have to pick this one, this one that is going up, this one that is up, not this one, this one. You hold this one like this, and you now take the next available bead. The next available bead to stop now. One. Then we are using two lines. This one will be left alone. You take this one, take two beads. We are starting another row now. We are fixing two. The second one you interlock with the other fish line. So you take the next available bead. You leave this one alone. You take this one. You put two bead. One, two. The second one, you now go and take this, the other mouth, the other fish line, and you now interlock. So 
so that is all we are going to be doing to finish this one can you see the next available bead this one will go in to the next available bead here
Can you see we are almost through? We are doing the finishing today. We are doing the finishing now. So, let me put it on my mold. I'm closing it now.
This is the finish part of it. You can use it like this, or you put it together like this. I do bid for the king. You can as well try it. And if you have any question, if you run across any difficulties when you are doing it, uh, I will put my WhatsApp number there. Even if you can you do your own to be more beautiful than this, I will put my WhatsApp number on the description. If you have a question or you want me to do one for you, kindly subscribe to my channel. There is more to come. Thank you.